Okay, uh, welcome everyone to the third World Ambassadors meeting, this one in China for Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. And uh, we welcome everyone from the uh, Chinese uh, sector and Mr. Kesh seems to be ready to go here to address the meeting. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Kesh. Good morning, good afternoon to you all in China. Um, <laughs> nice to have today as a first day for your peace conference, where today is 21st of October and is the first day of peace. It is a lot for the Chinese community because in the long run we see the world peace in the hand of China, more than any other nation. Do you want to translate? Okay, Mr. Cash. Thank you, Lisa. I've got the Lisa number two here, by the way, Lisa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, you have to understand why. We put a lot of emphasis on Chinese Cash Foundation. First of all, you are of different line of thinking than the rest of the world. You think emotional, natural way in respect to your systems. And secondly, China, me, and to the world leaders is world first nation, not the United States. So we consider China as world leader because when we look at the United States, it's a bankrupt nation calling itself First Nation. The debt sitting on the line of America and the United States is so huge that nobody knows if they can ever pay. China is cash rich. It's got a direct operation with the leadership very correct. And we've seen that they start setting up the world order the correct way. Do you want to translate? Okay. So when you look at the world ranking, it's not the GDP which counts, is what you own, what you owe, and the balance shows which nation is the leader. America does not even come, actually United States is beyond most of the African nations because it's got so much debt. China, owns huge reserves and now has started using its strength to use its financial power, which is cash rich, in the benefit of peace, in the benefit of the world peace. And that's where China become the big player in the work of the Cash Foundation. And that's why I spend a lot of time developing, working with the Chinese Cash Foundations, trying to take it to the next step that before China plays the game of America, spend a lot of money into defense, which is not needed, we can divert the finances into new technologies. And this is a very crucial point we're trying to get across to the Chinese leadership. Use the new technology of the Cash Foundation for peace and opening of the space. And this is crucial. We are in a very crucial point with China. If they go the same as the United States, spending huge amount of money on arms, then they go back into the same position as before with the United States. If the Cash Foundation China can get access and directly go into the leadership and show the advantage of the new technology, you divert finances from war into peace equipment. And that's where your position comes. You want to translate? Okay, Mr. Cash. So now you see why we emphasize a lot on China. I Yesterday, as you know, we have a delegation of the Chinese here. Would you like to come and introduce yourself? Lisa? All of you, all three of you. You come all the way from China. I give you the microphone. This is the delegation which accepted the units for your leadership. 
and we had a meeting last night. You've got to come between these lines, otherwise you don't exist. You're in a matter of state here. That side you're a plasma, that side you're a plasma. You've got to be between. Come here in between, please. Inside, inside. I've got to make you physically visible. There we are. So, introduce yourself. Okay, speak Chinese. You're speaking to Chinese. Okay. Can you hear? No, the microphone's not working. My, okay, just wait. Okay, can you hear? Hello, Chinese. Can you speak Chinese? 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 Can you speak as uh, the members from China Cash Foundation, we are uh, privileged to be there and we are touched by the dream and the idea of Cash Foundation and uh, we feel grateful that Cash Foundation uh, provides some demo units for Chinese uh, uh, Cash Foundation. Uh, we we will try to do our best uh, to uh, to do all we can to achieve the goals of Cash Foundation in China. Uh, we will try to cooperate with all the parties in China, uh, all the members in China, uh, to achieve the goals of Cash Foundation uh, in China. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, your uh, support and helps from Cash Foundation. Thank you. Are you going to translate? No, we got the translation, no problem. Um, we are not going to give you another unit, you already got one each. So, no? No? You really saw, yeah, you're better now. Yeah, it's just okay. when Carl, because of the room size and the microphone that they're using there, it's uh, just a little bit uh, interrupting. Uh, uh, Carl, just let me know when you need to talk and then we can move there, on. Are there any questions from the Chinese community there from these three victims here? Do you want to ask them any question? Um, no questions? Oh, no. <laughs> No questions. Anyway. Um, you got to speak or are you still at it? Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay. As you've seen, your three ambassadors which you sent here, each one of them received one unit. We know Two of them, at least, will go to President Z, and one most probably stays with the Cash Foundations to be able to reproduce. You got to understand one thing. As we said in the World Peace Ambassador meeting, is that this unit, which you've seen now, has been dislocated, in so many ways carries a lot of hope for China. What it does and what it will do is, as I explained to your colleagues, if you use it the right way and you can mass produce it in a very rapid way in millions and connect it to your automotives, you change the position you have now in Beijing and Shanghai and the rest. If you can show this very rapidly in China, that with a simple system, you can change the air condition, air pollution in these two major cities, the government just walks you anywhere you like. I've been in Beijing, I've been in Shanghai, and I've seen buildings coming and going just with the smoke. It's that effective. You don't burn any fuel, you just add a system to. I'm sure in China, you can produce these for less than $100, $50. So you can implement it rapidly into the structure. Now, 
the government can see the change and they implement the change and then we see the opening of the technology in China. Would you like to translate? Uh, yeah, sure. So, mm. what we see as your one of your first things you have to do in Cash Foundation in China, don't go for the health, don't go for the pen, Let's still concentrate in doing it, but try to rapidly deliver these units for energy and fuel. The government will see the change. You got to be able to gear up at about 10 to 20 million a month across 10, 20 different factories in China with different cash foundations. We give you all the blueprints. For you to get design and do it, for us, it's a press of a button. You don't need to waste time. If you can show units in China where the government can put on 10, 20 cars and they see the reduction in fuel consumption, within a week, they implement it. This is what the target of check cash funds in China should be. The power at the moment, yes, you need. But if you can use these units very rapidly for automotive and show to the government reduction in fuel consumption, which with it brings reduction in pollution in Beijing, Shanghai, and other major cities, you have walked in. The technology opens up in no time in China. Okay. Uh, uh, well, it's extra to take to China for application of the car industry immediately. As long as you take it in with a, with a with a group with Lisa and fit it on the car and call the ministries to come and check. You can implement it immediately because they see it. It's black and white. It's not something that it will, might happen. This has huge advantage, as I explained to the Chinese uh, group last night. You import total energy, something like about 10 million barrels a day, roughly, to support your technology. And then you have a huge coal mine industry, which is very old. If you can show your government that with the implication of this system, you can save 5 billion in the next 12 months, 18 months, that's 5 billion, that's 10 million barrel at the moment at about, uh, what do you call it, $50, it gives you, you can see 250 million barrel a day, $250 million a day the nation saves, just off you. These figures in China is massive. You are 1.5 billion to 1.7 billion, and you are one quarter to one fifth of the world population. This is where the game with China changes. Is not 10 million barrel. Is what you do with the 10 million, because. In so many ways, you start building up. The equation in the oil industry does not go by numbers. The equation goes by what you add to in the background. If you've been in the oil industry, you understand how this game is played very easily, and your leaders understand it. Should we translate that, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I think. Translate. <laughs> okay. No. So what you will see if you take this in 365 days, that is roughly $90 billion a year asset staying in China. It's a huge asset. Most probably is more than most of the African nations put together. You got to understand 
this little blue box will change a lot of things in China. If you present it the right way to the leadership, when you give it to your leaders, don't just give them the box, explain it to them. And then don't give them one box. You have two with you here, one for the energy and one for the fuel. In there, each one of you carry a key. Shows you how you connect it for the power. How you connect it for the car. You can use the same system more or less for the car system. But it needs adjustment internally, but more or less your leadership understand. So not only you change the economy, you can show the biggest problem at the moment in China, air pollution. This is important for them. This is vital for the nation. And then, as the government has surplus, you can tell them this is the condition. We show you, we want condition that none of this money, 90 billion surplus or whatever, going to be used for arm. If when you negotiate with your government, when you give it to them, tell them, what we save allow us to spend in a space technology, a spaceship program. You will create millions of new jobs to produce these units, and at the same time, you create a new space industry for peace. Do a barter with your nation. I worked with China for a long time in barter basis with the next of communist countries we used to be. So tell them very easily, we give you a gift, we save the money, we want the government to give part of it or all of it, whatever we save, that we can develop a special program for peace. Creates millions of new jobs. This is what your job is. We are not just giving you a box to take how you can save energy. Otherwise you become another group of scientists who develop not something. You, that's what we said. That was the title of the conference. Energy in exchange for peace. Yeah. So you show your leadership two things. We care, we bring a new dimension, but we care enough to take the nation into the next step. This is what they're going to be. You just don't go to your leaders and just put there is a new box for energy, a new box for a car. We know what we have. We know its value. We know what it can do. What we say for you, we wanted to develop a new space program that it can be used for peace. Do you want to translate? Yes. Um, you got to remember one simple fact, and that is these power units are a new way for life. And then you explain the rest to your leadership. What can do for food, what can do for medicine, what it can do with energy, and you have enough well-educated Chinese in Keshe Foundations in the plasma that you can take it to your leadership for them to explain. Don't go one person just delivering a box. Go as a team. He can explain to you. You have a doctor who teaches us now. Take the doctor with you that he can explain what the technology can do in medicine. Take the guys who did the agriculture with you. This is what it does in agriculture. Take them what you do in food. You have to show the collective, the totality, not one power unit. I've been to Beijing, I know the leadership, the ex-leadership's office, and I have a lot of respect for the way they run the nation. To you Chinese, it looks might, might be some difficult with your government, but if you understand from international point of view, you could not have any better government. Your leadership, is collective, caring for everyone, and not just in China, but collectively worldwide. 
What you see they deliver in China, they're delivering internationally. And this is what the Chinese don't understand. A lot of you Chinese just look that the government is doing this and that, but if you look, you have one of the most just, correct governments at this moment of time in the world. They don't care just for you to bring the nation up. They are doing the same thing across the world at the same time. We see it, we observe it, we work with them in different ways. So explain to them when you go to deliver these units, take the experts you have, take the fat boy with you, that they can see it's not just one thing, it's a total change. This is where you make a difference. And then you can show, in so many ways, China doesn't need to go food outside China to feed China. You can show your leadership the way the agriculture people in Mexico has shown us, the way the Chinese have shown us, and then offer a total package. Don't go like defeated soldier in pieces. Make a good case, a complete case, energy, fuel consumption, food, uh, medicine, all together. And the only thing you don't know, we know, your leadership knows Cash Foundation fully. The only problem they had up to now is that you have not submitted a full package to us a working package unit. Now you have this working package submitted to them, you will see the change. This has been one of my biggest problems in China for years, is they always ask us, give us a working unit that we can start working on it. Now you carry that Chinese for your government. Do it correctly. Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Cash? Yeah. What you got to remember is do not be afraid of competition. Your biggest problem is people who are scared you, they're gonna control the whole market, they're gonna do everything, tell them please do. The more you do, the more is to the benefit of our nation. It's 1.7 billion. That is a huge number. If you produce one million a year, you need to still need another. And if you produce one billion a year, you see where you sit. But the problem is, this is only one system. This system, when you look at the structure I explained to you, is built to be six to be complete. So now you have 1.7 billion multiplied by six. Now you see your problem. And then you go to your billions. None of you, not a single company can ever meet the Chinese demand. Encourage your nation to do as many as possible. Don't be afraid of people. We've seen in the past few weeks, you heard somebody, the tape was released of conversation intimidating he's gonna take over the World Cash Foundation. The tape was released by the security services of China. You are puzzled how such a conversation clearly was taped from beginning to the end. Chinese national security are watching people who are working against the nation. You are fully supported by your government. That tape would not have been released by an individual if it wasn't done by the permission of the national government. To bring you Chinese together in one go, to understand how people can infiltrate you to destroy you. We work with national governments, we understand the situation. Chinese national security is very tight in looking after its nation and the people who infiltrate to destroy. So, when you go to China, 
understand one thing. All the Keshe Foundation members, groups, as many will join you, you should work as a fingers on one hand. That together, you pull China into the next step of scientific development. Don't be afraid. You see somebody who says, I have money to produce, you say, this is the blueprint. Do it. This is how it should be. Here in Europe, I'm doing the same. Instead of leaving companies, individuals, to go and find a designer, to design a system, to be able to manufacture, this blue box, you see, is taking a lot of development in this box. Now, we don't give you the connection. If you want, you can have the design pattern of the cast, which means if you want the design of the cast, you can't do it, we give you the cast. I have set this structure next week, which is a blueprint week, we show you. We give you in the blueprint week everything. You Chinese community, make sure next week uh, you are on every public teaching that starts from Monday morning, which is called the Blueprint Week. What it is, as I explained in the other teaching, we go through every step of how to make this system, what it does, what it means, and then at the end of the week, we give you the Blueprint. You want the machinery, we support you. You want the plates to cast, we give it to you, the design that you immediately, you tell us you're ready to go, Monday morning I download to you the full design. In uh, Canada, we are completing the last stage of coiling, that automatically you can make coils, that within hours you can make the coil, do the whole process, so, when we finish by next Friday, the Blueprint Week, which every day next week is an open teaching, like Thursday morning, but we only concentrate on every application of the, what do you call, the power unit. By the end of the week, as I said yesterday, you know everything, how to make it, where the problem is, maybe you find a new solution for us, not maybe 100% you do it better, but you can share it with us. But if you look, I know Cash Foundation team in the background are working. We give you everything for the flick of a finger that you can produce by next Monday. We can, we have already placed order for a number of casts for different countries here in Italy. What I explained is please Respect one thing, do not export units out of China. Because you will destroy the economy of the world totally beyond imagination. And we need to keep the technology to each nation that they create employment, they create condition. So it's enough of you in China to, to feed each other you can export some, we come to an agreement with you, like to support Africa, we pay you to support Africa, we pay the Chinese cash foundations to manufacture goods to go to China. Or you price it in a way that you can support African and the third world nation. Remember one thing, China does not have any copper as such. For you to run these units, you need the copper, and the people who give it to you, the African nations, make sure they live the same standard as you. So for whatever you use, price in the way that you can send the unit to the African nations who we drained in the West for the benefit of ourselves, but we destroyed their culture and the life of living. We can translate. Okay, uh, thank you.
Mr. Cash. Yes, you finished? Yeah. Now, let's look what is or what you got in your hand. I cleaned everything off the board except the flower. Six of it. You received, you received the first one, which is energy, blue. The structure of the unit, if you look, is like a triangle. That it can fit into another triangle like this. The next unit is for water. The next unit is for food. The next unit is for your medicine. The next unit is for the material. And this unit is for emotional, because man has a physicality with psychosomatic. So we add pieces together as we go along with the next few weeks and months, where you can use the combination of two or three in one unit, or you use units to create what you need. This is what you've got to explain to your leadership. How you change. How you can make China self-sufficient for food. How you can bring water, as I said yesterday, into the desert on the west side of Beijing. This is the change. This is what you will understand or what you will go through to be able to add. And each one of these, as I said, you're going to produce for 1.7 billion just in China. This is a huge change. And you've seen it. And it's very simple. Make a cup. We showed you the structure. You sent us the system from China. We didn't send it out to you. You sent us, Carly sent us the unit with 12 pieces around it with a center core. We showed it in Rome. Each one of these is one two and three. Load up with CO2, load up with CH3, load up with CO. You feed the man in a perfect way. Place them in a formation, like a star formation, where you have a zone in the middle that receives all the combinations directly. This cup of water in the middle or the man is standing in the system, receives what he needs, no more. If you don't need it, you don't connect to it. If you're short of, you connect to it. Where is the pen? Who's got the pen? The pen is in your hand. You all have seen this pen, you're producing it. It's the same as this pen. If you look at it, this pen is one system. What you need, it gives as a field, and if you don't need it, it doesn't, because you don't link into it. But don't forget one thing. These units, because they work on a plasma and gravitational field, unfortunately, all of them connect through your emotion. If you steal with the thought of stealing from the system, you'll find out the system it balances itself somewhere else with you. You will start getting people telling you how they change their behavior. They come into the Cash Foundation centers in China and they are thinking of doing something wrong or they do something wrong and this system's run. You find them themselves will correct themselves. There is no difference between the way you use the pen on your skin to bring the balance, the cells, in right order, and the man walking 
in the center of the same. You will see behavior change in no time. You'll be amazed how this technology will touch you. You come, you look just, as I said, with this pen, you look at it and you say, billions of cells here, only a few are not in order. That's why you have a pain. You keep it on and it changes the pain. Change the few cell as a human being in the center of the same system. You'll find out, don't forget, every cell you have, it has emotion and physicality, the same as the human being. You will change the people who come to rob you, they come to serve you, because in totality, the rest of you there in the Cash Foundations are there to serve, to learn, and serve each other in your nation. So don't worry about people who come to harm you. That should not be your problem anymore. You know, you go, I was explaining this to somebody recently. And then Lisa can translate. You know, you go to these buildings and you have these detectors. You go to the shops, you walk through. Put these systems like detectors on either side of the entrance door. People who come in with the wrong intention, you find out they won't come in because they see the pressure, they feel the pressure of rejection from the system, because you put these systems according to the amino acid, you try to see who is gonna walk through them. You find out in your labs, people just come to serve, just to develop. You will not see thieves. Nobody will come in to thief, because is not part of the balance of the structure. It's give and take, and if somebody comes in, the same as one cell is wrong and you're in pain, and you can correct it with a pen, that person becomes very much like the wrong cell. He finds the balance in a few seconds, and you find the guy comes to do bad, you do everything wrong, right, and he walks out. Or they don't walk in. Translate. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, okay, Mr. Cash. Okay. Before I forget, uh, Carly, we have a problem. In the demonstration of the three units we took to Rome, some water got into one of the system, and one of the control system is burnt out. Could we have a new one, please? Uh,就说呃，有一件事情，呃，就说不要忘了。所以我现在赶紧说一下，就是呃，科尔，你那个给我们送了三个系统。那么有一个系统呢，是因为进水了，所以就被烧坏了。这个控制系统，但是不是能
October is the first day of the two-day peace. I thank you for organizing such an event. And the only request we have here from Keshe Foundation China is we need Chinese teachers, not only for the Spaceship Institute to teach us or to teach the other students with the translators or without, but to organize, like here, SSI teachings, SSI teachings in China for the new generation. You have to establish teaching sessions like this in China, done by the Chinese, for the Chinese. You should not sit for the handouts from SSI in Italy or somewhere else. You've seen how we start teaching this term. Teachers from all over the world, speaking English or not, participate. We have one or two Chinese teachers. We had a Chinese doctor who taught us last Wednesday. We need you. You are highly educated, extremely well educated in the plasma technology. Please volunteer or structure yourself that you become teachers, even is arrange yourself one day a week teaching in China. On Mondays, you teach or program yourself that everybody in China needs. Teach each other about nanotechnology, teach each other about the plasma, teach each other about how you're making systems. You, if you don't do, you fall behind, and the Chinese community cannot fall behind. So, first of all, Keshe Foundation SSI needs teachers from China, and Keshe Foundation China needs teacher for Chinese. They started with one day teaching, and they make it two days. The more teachers, you have enough teachers to do 24 hours teaching in China, seven days a week. Because you come from a different kind of mentality, you are very interactive, you are very open to new technologies, and you know how to manipulate it through the structure. So please, Cash Foundation China is set up now here as a full organization. Structure yourself into teaching programs. That's the time when the government will interact with you. They allow you to become part of the structure of the teaching. You have the materials, meet with your government in the coming week when your team arrives in all aspects. I know one thing. I have worked enough with China. Your government is very pro Cash Foundation. Your leadership knows everything we do in Cash Foundation. Don't be afraid you're going to somewhere new. It advises to the president and the leadership have already advised them what is going to be the Cash Foundation. And from what we know, all is positive. As you know, the book is getting published by the major university. And I have donated all the income from the book back to the Cash Foundation China. So you have enough. If you buy all the books, you literally finance the Cash Foundation. So you have the basic to finance yourself. And on the other hand, don't let nothing from the Cash Foundation China to come out of China unless you spend it on the whole Chinese community inside the country. The Chinese demand is so huge that you need to give to as many people who cannot afford it themselves. Explain to people the way I do. You pay for two years, two units, three units. You have one. You help the others to be the same. And the Chinese somehow have understood this a long time ago. Your social structure supports community, not the individuality. So please, first of all, organize to start with one-day teachings, the way we do, nine to five. You don't need to go to the center. Put a camera the way we do, any part of China, and teach the technology. You want to translate? Yes. Uh, I think so we'll just take a, yeah, a moment break. Yeah. Maybe we'll just uh, take a couple moment break uh,
Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. You want to share the Theron Ambassadors uh, thing, uh, the video, and uh, John, can you just fade in some low music, please, until we get them back? Yes, we're back. Um, I see Curly is back here, but uh, we still can't hear anything from them. We can't see anything from their camera. Lisa, have you tried? Uh, have you got in contact with them? There's something there now. There we go. Oh, okay. Now we, uh, now we can see it. Oh, they don't have sound. Okay. Uh, you need to focus. Okay, Ah, you have the beads. You're still in the last century. Move out. <laughs> beads used to be the story. No more. But you can use uh, it if you want. Uh, uh, 说你们这个输出是多少是输入输出然后说你们还在用这个珠子啊就这个珠子是上个世纪的了你们应该就是停止用了要往前走<笑> 我们去拿糖和水。Carly, can you can you show us your psychological hat? I can see it on the table。能能能，你可以来打个招呼。那个心里的那个什么hat，什么帽子是什么呢？帽子。哦，Yeah。Oh, Okay. I saw your picture on it. It looks very good. 
呃，我是呃，你笑过吗？不是你的衣服，不是你的衣服，你来，你来，你的衣服我背吧。哪里？美女，美女，美女，美女啊！你们要展示一下效果。A very nice skirt, but it's a bit too short. 他说，呃，他说你这裙子很好看，有点短。It's not a skirt, it's a a a band. 那他视频来了，那边，我在这里。对。Lisa. Yes. Ah, what's this yellow one? Another fat boy. Oh, the beads. How come you Chinese got to talk with the beads? Move on. 呃，凯宇说：“你们中国人怎么好？我仍然在弄这些个珠子啊，要往前走，不要再弄珠子了。”来了，刚才说我要往前走，我操，要怎么往前走？这个是，这是上个世纪的技术啦。哈哈哈哈哈！我们手机也行啊，手机充电也行啊。Yeah, we can charge our battery just in five seconds. Okay, okay, can you hear me? We can charge our battery. We can charge our our battery just in five seconds. Okay. You can recharge your battery in five seconds. Yeah, sir. I think in fact, uh, just just in one second, uh, the battery will be recharged. What with the beads? With the beads, yes. Can you show us? Yeah, I can't uh, uh, do it. A uh, replica because uh, it's very hard to master it. We need to do more with the. We need to do more with the on that. Ah, okay. okay. I think we come to your lab is more exciting than ours. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you, we can work together and share the knowledge, and uh, with all the circle and the human being. Are you moving into plasma or not yet? Well, you're live across the world on YouTube and live stream, girl. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, of course. Uh, we are uh, move, uh, moving uh, into the plasma. Uh, for now, and uh, we will uh, do more with that. And um, I think we. Can go deeper later. Okay. What we are going to do tomorrow, Kali? Kali. Okay. Tomorrow morning, in the teachings, in the open teachings. Okay. Join us because I know you have a second day. I'm going to teach you how to energize the fat boy that he might be able to fly. Okay. Thank you. I will be there tomorrow. Thank you. Tomorrow. Because um, you need the energy unit, and you can uh, energize the the fat boy. Okay, thank you. And uh, uh, this this guy is very interested in uh, how to uh, fly uh, the fat boy. So he's going to make a big system and a spin system connected with the fat boy. And uh, I think we can run together and make it fly tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. But the uh, teaching is mainly on how the people who got the systems like a fat boy can uh, can make it to to energize it because this is what you were missing. And we in fact, in fact, okay, okay. In fact, that uh, this guy uh, has uh, separately used his mind and the control. The uh, oh. reactor. And okay, uh, can we see that today now? How he does it? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, he just can make it uh, for once for a while. Can uh, we see he, it, how he does it? He uh, used he uh, pictured uh, he pictured that uh, uh, the fibroid move that then the the fibroid reactor uh, shaking and uh, the shaking to the left and. So he can use his mind to uh, move the paper. I think. Can you show it to us? Uh, it can. He he is not sure. 
He is not sure uh, will will uh, separate him uh, replicate. Would he be ready for tomorrow to do it? Uh, we 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 are we, we are trying to do it, but uh, we are not sure uh, whether uh, is uh, successful or not. Okay, what to do? Sit him somewhere, put a camera on him all day, and see if he can do it. Okay, okay, we will try. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any questions from your side? No questions? Uh, in fact, uh, we don't have any questions for now. Thank, Thank you very much. You. We'll see you tomorrow morning in the teachings. Bring your fat boy and bye, your bye, house. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Translate。啊,你是在啊,now <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音> Okay, I asked him whether he can show it. He said, uh, uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, okay, so are you, are you done? Are you back, Mr. Cash? Oh, I think so. We're here. Okay. Um, Lisa, could you let them know that we'll see them tomorrow in their second day? Uh, okay. okay. Discuss the flight system. Okay. Uh, I already told them, much. so they, they know much, they, will, they will be here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank, thank you, you Mr. Cash. Thank you very much, indeed. Thanks, Lisa. So we finished this section and we go on our normal teaching of Wednesdays. What is okay. it? Wednesdays. Uh, what time is it? Oh. Okay. Okay. Would you like to teach? Would you like to teach? You haven't taught for a long, long time. Well, I think that's an indication for us to stop the streaming, Mr. Kesh, and then we can yes, close down of the stop the streaming, and then okay. we go to our normal teaching. Okay. So, um, Rick, uh, did you want to end everything? And Lisa, yes, please translate. Okay. Uh, can you say it Thank you. Okay, and that ends the um, third World Ambassadors meeting uh, in China for Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. And thank you everybody for attending, and we'll go back to our um, regular afternoon uh, online session now for those who are doing that. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, uh, thank you, Rick and uh, Vince. Yes, thank you, everybody.